Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably share uh, one interesting use case of uh, Confluence uh, REST API. Now, but imagine that you have to resolve a bug, and uh, it may be some hotfix or maybe something that needs to be done uh, uh, very quickly. And usually, when people resolve bugs, they they want to uh, create some kind of uh, some some kind of a document just to uh, keep track of uh, what exactly happened and how the bug was resolved. So basically some kind of uh, post-mortem or some post-bug resolution analysis. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do. Uh, your bug can be, of course, uh, uh, maybe resolved in the code. I mean, it is, let us say, some hot fix that you're doing. And uh, when you do that, of course, uh, you have the option to link your uh, Jira uh, ticket to your commit message. So from your Jira bug, you can uh, create a branch and uh, in your commit messages, you can also include your uh, Jira ticket or issue. And uh, you have, of course, this integration of Jira with uh, your code repository manager, your actually, uh, you know, code, uh, which you, co you, ca you can, of course, manage and uh, look at in your uh, Jira issue itself. But imagine the moment you resolve the bug, maybe you have somewhere in your uh, issue a transition screen where you want to keep track of, uh, let us say, uh, uh, you know, you know, it, it could be a custom field or, or, or a text area where you can mention the analysis, uh, what happened. And the moment you resolve the bug or the moment you make a transition, imagine that you create a conference page and on that particular conference page, you can uh, uh, mention the details of the bug. You can also mention uh, uh, the commit messages or the actual code that was changed. Maybe if, if that particular uh, issue, let us say it's a story, it can have, let us say, five or uh, ten issues. Yeah, I'll probably let someone go. There's someone coming. Morning. Morning. Okay. I don't really want to talk about Jira, Bitbucket and Confluence and REST API in front of other people. Yeah, so I was talking about uh, the page that you can create, but on that particular page, you can of course have the details from your Jira issue, but uh, you can also bring in the details from your uh, code repository manager. For example, all the all the issues that you resolved, or uh, maybe the branch that you created, and if let us say you're working on a bug or a, any issue that may have uh, more uh, than one subtask or maybe any other issue links, so you can actually write a script to bring in all this information uh, at a single place and you can of course create a confluence page out of it so basically that particular confluence page when someone is looking at it it will have everything in one place and uh, of course because it's confluence you can also export it to uh, maybe a pdf file or maybe you can uh, share it with your stakeholders sometimes sometimes these things are necessary you can of course you know do these things manually you can always create a page manually but uh, uh, i mean that is that is how you improve that is how you uh, you bring in the capabilities of uh, rest api and do this automation to make life uh, a lot a lot more easier in fact uh, not only uh, you will save time but you will also uh, improve your processes you will also uh, bring in efficiency because if someone is doing it manually that person is wasting time and that uh, time is of course money so that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Thank you very much.